Miraj, he said, Da'if, O Keen, O Zalim, O Jahan, and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that Allah granted us a life to enter into the holy month of Ramadan and the reality of the Sultanah, the reality of the ninth month, the reality of the reality of nine, the most powerful number of numbers that it represents the Sultanat and the highest single digit number everything else then is built upon that reality. And huwal awwal wa huwa akhar means that from the beginning of one to the end and the khatam of nine as the immense realities of these numeric codes and nine represents the Sultan and the King. And Allah and in all traditions they mentioned that eight will uphold the throne of one. And alhamdulillah many times we've reminded ourselves and everyone else, Allah stamped us with these codes eight and one in Arabic numerals. On the left is one and eight and on the right is eighty-one. Oh, it's the reverse, yeah it's 18 on the right hand, left hand 81 inshaAllah. So means that this 8 and 1, 8 and 1 is a stamp upon our reality for us to one day recognize that we are created to serve the kingdom of Allah And Allah's king and Malik is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad and the reality of nine and the sultanate of nine and the reality of the most powerful number in which, in which renders everything back to a nukht. Means the power of nine is such that anything that approaches and multiplied by nine renders itself back to a nukht to be nothing and reflects itself as a nine. And our reality to enter into the holy month of Ramadan to be nothing. And that ask Allah that by that power of the Sultanat, by the power of that reality that Allah is giving as the reality of Ramadan that Allah render us into the oceans of nothingness. Means to dissolve and destroy all our wrongdoings, all our egoistic characters, all of the badness render… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. us back to being like a pearl, like a nukh, like a dot in its purity and its, and its cleanliness and it's in complete submission. Means that nine has such an immense reality of submission that anything that fuses and multiplies by it and fusion is a reality of fana. As soon as we enter into the ninth month it's like we're multiplying and entering into the ocean of fana. That we're annihilating ourselves in that month and by the dress of that month, the reality of that month is Ramadan in which Allah Grace is that you fast and as soon as you abstain and the immense reality of abstinence and abstaining Allah begins to enter the fusion process and we begin to dissolve. All the badness dissolves, all the calcification of our bodily reality and our bodily form that has partnered with shaitan and the nafs begins to melt away, begins to dissolve and as a result the servants become pure and purified. 
and purified by the light of Holy Qur'an. That's why it's a month in which to meditate, contemplate, listen to. Even you can find on, on Spotify the Qur'an recited in English so that if you're not able to read or your eyes are weakened from reading they can recite for you in English if that's your language. I'm sure you can find in Urdu and, and Arabic definitely everyone has every Qur'an in Arabic. It means so many ways Allah gives to us to enter into that contemplation that just by meditating and listening to the Qur'an in English as it's being recited it's already being dressed upon the servant. It's by the reality of the Qur'an that Allah is dressing the servants, Alam al-Qur'an badan khalaq al-insan, then afterwards I created insan. So as a result of meditating on the Qur'an means opening its realities and opening its lights upon the soul. So it's the immensity of this power of nine and the reality of the Sultanate of nine that annihilates everyone, annihilates everything and anything that is multiplied by nine or the power of that sultan will make it to become a nine. Means that anytime we want to meditate and contemplate Allah directs us is to contemplate upon creation and Prophet's teaching is, don't contemplate about Allah that takes you out of belief. That's where philosophers they want to understand the, the inappropriate understandings of Allah and Prophet taught for us is contemplate about creation and the best of creation is Sayyidina Muhammad's reality and the prophetic reality. Anytime we contemplate on that reality and we begin to meditate and ask them, my Lord that dress me and annihilate me into the presence of that reality. That's the reality of multiplication, that we take our being and, and who we are and we're asking to multiply it and fuse it by the reality of the best of creation, the most powerful of creation which stands for the reality of that nine and the sultanate. And nine multiplied by anything turns it back into a nine, nine multiplied by two becomes eighteen, one and eight become nine. So it has an immense blessings and then to achieve that with the lights of Qur'an and the lights of Ramadan and the secret of siyam and fasting. We pray that Allah dress us from these immense lights, bless us from these immense lights and that this Baba Rahmah for 10 days dressing and bringing everybody into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Every soul is in this ocean of Muhammadun Rasulullah And those whom intend to make siyam and fast the Ramadan, their lights they gather around the presence of the light of Sayyidina Muhammad as their rahmah of Allah begins to intercede upon their lights and their souls so that they can enter into the immense realities of the 10 days of the first 10 days of Ramadan inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.